Hi you guys, Naila here and Jonathan were in Castlenock Hotel. We thought it would be a good idea to get together uh, just to go through the teams for Friday, officially. Um, we certainly want to welcome Jonathan and the Parmestown guys to Castlenock. Um, uh, we've got the trophy here as well. We have a couple of beers. Well, I have a Guinness, Jonathan has a Heineken. I haven't got much left. We ha well, we're, we're doing okay. Yeah. Um, we'll also share the format again. Uh, Jonathan's going to go through that. And then we'll share a little bit of background about the prizes and what can be won, that sort of stuff. But it's all about winning your point yes. um, for your team. That's it. And uh, we know that there's 24 points to play for. And uh, the winner will obviously um, win the inaugural Ryder Cup with the most amount of points. So it's very exciting. It was all Jonathan's idea, to be fair. And it came off the back of uh, an event that was in Carton last year. So it's more now a club level. And we, 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 we certainly want to look at doing an away game. So, Jonathan, yes. I think it would be a good idea to start with. We go through it by game, guys. You've all got the information. And we, we give you a little <laughs> bit of background as to who's playing who. and, and uh, So, Jonathan, can I start with you, pal? Yeah. So, uh, there's a familiar guy there on that Game front. number one. Yeah. Johnny Bailey versus Mark O'Neill. So wow. Obviously, yeah. the captains are taking responsibility for playing against each other. Now, funnily enough, our handicaps match, and we kind of had do. we kind of had a run yeah. at this a couple of months, oh, a couple of last month. Well, we it? did, yeah. And he had two eagles, by the way, and a birdie on the 18th. Yeah. And yeah. I lost a hole to him with a cracking birdie when I drove the green. But anyway, all that said, and we're that, both that, off. That, that, that was it. Yeah, yeah, those so those eagles haven't been mentioned much. Casting <laughs> <laughs> that put them all over their social media. It was breathtaking. Um, Stephen and Bobby were with me that day and it uh, was remarkable what he did but I'm still confident that I won't lose I don't care how many eagles he has I can still bring home the bacon for uh, Castle So this match then is we're both I think 13.5 really now aren't yeah, we? Yeah so we'll be off I think 15 on the day So in other words it's a scratch game It's going to be a scratch game between the two captains yeah. And it'll be um, obviously it's match play so the same format will go for all the games whereby if I mean looking at we get down to Graham Dunning, who's probably playing off one against Alan Travers, who'll be nine or ten. Mm -hmm. He'll have shots on index one to eight, whatever the difference is. That's yeah. the way it'll work. Yeah, so we, we look, we'll stick with the flow. So yeah. we're obviously going to hit the first balls. Coming behind us then in the first four ball, uh, my buddy, Garrett Cook. Um, he's playing very, very well at the moment. He's guesting for us. He's a member of the island. He loves mm -hmm. playing Castle Knock, by the way. Very nice. Um, nice. And a lovely guy altogether, good friend of mine, and I'm glad that I'll be going out with him. And tell us a bit about uh, Colm Seville. Colm, my fellow St. Pat's man. Okay. Also plays in the Jimmy Brown team for Palmerstown. Right. Uh, most recently won his match in the semi-final with a dodgy knee. Very After good. a cortisone injection and about six out, but they end up in um, Garrett, I hope you listen to all this. He's injured. He's so injured. Be, there might be a drugs <laughs> test before this match going out. But um yeah, we have to get the buggy myself and Colin share it because of his knees. So he's carrying a bit of a knock. No excuse is being made here. Okay. Uh top lad, great golfer. Um that's okay. two nil so far. Yeah. And can I just plug Garrett? Garrett is gonna be sponsoring some water, some energy drinks, some chocolates and sweets for everybody in their golf bag. So appreciate it, Gar. So yeah, that's gonna be a good contest. Mm. Um now that's they they tee, we all tee off uh, two thirty um and uh, two forty um is coming up now and that game is so game three is John Weaver mm -hmm. off six point six against Jason Sherlock, who's off six point two. Now this one has fantastic potential. This could be a very good battle. Um will I roll on and talk about Jason a bit? So Jason obviously uh, manages a team in Castle Knock. Everybody know who Jason is. He's a sports fanatic. He's usually brilliant at every sport that he puts his hand to. I was lucky to play with Jason at Shamrock Rovers in the National League of Ireland, and he's a he's a lovely guy altogether. Um, I'm really looking forward to this battle. <clears throat> and Jason's also plays for Castleknock as well in various tournaments, um, so in in the club and all that kind of stuff. So uh, tell us a bit about John Weaver. What, what what's expected here? Well, similar to Colm, another Jimmy Brown team player that we have here um, the best cat handed golfer I've ever seen right um, a big Dublin supporter right so, okay uh, Jay not going to be intimidated at all by uh, not at all. a former superstar should I say not at all. so we, know, we have a, a new superstar against the former <laughs> superstar I'm jo that's a joke Jay it's the money Jay no it's um, going to be a good battle that one uh, steady head, John, playing the game. Right. Uh, very calm golfer. Um, I've seen him play on the big occasion where it really mattered and uh, he's well able to play the game. So I, I, 
this is a very even game based on handicap, so yeah. uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the result of this one. But basically, we've got two great golfers here, so it could go either way. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's nice that they're out kind of toured as well. Um, game four, then, um, anybody who's followed National League of Ireland over the years, again, it's a guest it's a guest situation here. Richie Baker's coming in to guest for Jonathan's team. Mm -hmm. um, I think Richie's handicap's mm -hmm. more 12.5. You sent it to yeah, me the other day. Right. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah, about 12.13. Richie had a brilliant League of Ireland career. Um, we got onto his brother in a second, but um, Richie, a lovely, lovely guy. Um, a super golfer, by the way, not to be underestimated. Um, and I think he'd be probably off 14 or 15, which is nice because... He's going to be playing against Brendan Keeley, Brendan's son, just signed for Spurs with Conte squad, which is amazing for Irish football, never mind Spurs. And he's got another son playing for Ballymena United. Brendan's a close friend of mine, uh, really, really good golfer off 11.8. And if Brendan turns up, he could make Richie's life well, yeah. a bit difficult on the golf course because Brendan's got it in the locker. So, Brendan, relying on you to bring in a point, buddy, I know you can do it. What, I will say. What's your comeback on that? Uh, well, I have been in touch with Richie over the last <laughs> couple <laughs> of weeks. Have you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Find out what he's doing. He's back into his golf over the last yeah. month or so. He's, he's putting, very, very good. He's apparently. putting the hard yards in. Um, I was expecting to see, as we thought at the time, 18. Now we're looking at probably 14, 15 yeah, of a handicap. Way down. So yeah. it looks like he's a confident man. Yeah, well, he was a confident footballer. I can yeah. tell you that. One of, one of the finest League of Ireland's ever seen. So, okay. Um, we'll move on to um, four ball number three, game number five. Now, tell us a bit about Tom Conway. Why is he in there? I know Tom a long time. Um, right. dude, we would have started playing golf 10 years ago. Right. Tom would have been maybe playing off 23 at the time. Wow. 22, uh, around City West at the time. 6.2. So he's gone all the way down, well, 6.2, yeah. And he's been lower mm -hmm. than that. So he's had two runner ups in the medals this year in Palmerstown. Beaten both times by a 30 odd handicapper by a oh, shot or two. So that's impressive. That's Tom shooting something like 74 or 75 in Palmerstown, which shows you the ability this guy has. I've never seen a fella hit a ball as well. Right. Right. He's a great striker of a ball. Right. Uh, great experience now over the years playing, so I would be very confident in his ability. So you reckon he's going to bring in your point? No problem. Let me tell you about Kevin Manley. Uh, got to know Kevin this year playing golf um, in various Opens and just regular Sunday club golf. And Kevin is a lovely guy, quite unassuming on the golf course, nice and calm, nice and quiet. But my God, this lad can play golf. Good. Like he, his, his greens and regulation stats are very very good he's very he's very good from inside 100 150 yards um very steady off the tee kevin i'm just a lovely guy to play golf with so i'm really really keen i'm banking on you kevin to deliver here now <laughs> tom's come with a big reputation but <laughs> yeah. i'm trusting kevin to deliver you don't thank me for that <laughs> no, no. but honestly a lovely lad to play golf with and uh oh, i'm quietly confident kevin can deliver a point for us so. okay Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, in this four ball, uh, we have Ken Smith. Yeah. Uh, again, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Uh, an ex-footballer, um, obviously very engrossed in the sports business. He's a member of Palmerstown. Very popular lad, Ken. And as Muller said last year, if the right Ken Smith turns up, <laughs> he'll win his point. So, Ken, we need you probably. And I bet Ken. I, I don't hope. Yeah. I hope you don't turn up. But uh, tell us a bit. About well, I met Ken, Ken probably fifteen years ago through uh, work. I uh, didn't know he was involved in football at the time, and I was managing yeah. schoolboy at Luke and United, so um, he, he ended up getting a contract with, uh, with the job. Um, funnily enough, the purchasing manager, that was me. Um, right, but uh, right. we worked up a good relationship and found out that we knew loads of them yeah. lads together, so he helped me out with Luke and with some gear for the team. And I met Ken as kind of a friend that he met over the years, yeah. as a nice guy, um, yeah, before right. golf, before anything like that. So it was great to have him to see him um, out in the golf course now. Yeah. Always had time to stop for me. Um, even met him a couple of weeks ago on the course to have a yeah. pick yap. Yeah. How are you doing, Jonathan? Um, so great family man, I know that. Mm. And um, lovely fella, have a great time for Ken. Um, golf boys, uh, I haven't seen him play mm. that much well, to be honest. I'll be honest with you, 14.5 is generous for him. Is it? Great. I, I've even played par three. Just, Delighted to hear and that. And that lad can draw a golf ball into a pin. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a bit high for him. I think he's more like 12. And I know Mark mm -hmm. Mulraney will give testimony to that. But again, what Ken's going to turn up? Ken, there's no work in the morning for you. You need to come sharp and ready. But as I said, you don't care because you're up against, I'll give you a bit of backdrop to this guy. William O'Flynn has only had to take him up golf the last two years. Great. He comes from a Spartan family. He's wow. a hurler. Right? Now, Is that the hurler? No, funny enough. But he's six foot three and he's a lovely guy. He is in finance. Um, got to know him again this year. So why did you hear this, Jonathan? I think I told you last time I was there. I played with him a, a few weeks ago. Index one and Cousin Knock. 
he drove a ball 320 yards on index one and put it to nine feet with a 52 degree lob wedge. Wow. Right? Now, needless to say, he made a par that day and was disappointed not to roll in the boardie. But it was exceptional golf. This lad, if he's not on the hunt with Graham Dunning for the longest drive, right. no disrespect to anybody else's drives, but this man catches one. It's 330, it's 320, three, it's, it's incredible. But a lovely guy to play golf with. That is actually going to be a tough game for Ken. Right. Um, well, I, I think... I think Which Ken? It, uh, Ken we Smith we, and William. We don't know which Ken is going to throw one up, though. That's true, yeah. But I just, yeah, that's true. But do you know something? It's very even. I, I would just, I'm not sure how much got. But that's a scratch game. Playing. That's a scratch that's game, a scratch anyway, game isn't it? anyway. Yeah, yeah I think so we match that up quite well. It's on the day, isn't it? So, uh, but yeah, William, lovely guy. Two lovely guys playing against each other. Um, we'll we'll move on. Um, game number seven. Tell us a bit about. Alan Travers, I know the name, 8.4 index. Well, Alan and Mark, I put together because I met them both at the same time a couple of years ago, um, playing Wednesdays in Palmerstown. Mm. Threw my name down the usual time and got to meet these two guys. So, um, right. Alan works in the bank. He's just recently become a father for the first time. Uh, congratulations, buddy. Which is great news for everybody, so we're delighted for him. Um, yeah. I met him at the weekend and he wasn't a happy man because he's now realised that when you're a father for the first time it doesn't go we're playing go so all he said to me was I promise you I'll be better next Friday so let's hope the baby sleeps ah, this yeah. week and there's no teeth or something like that but uh, yeah. full confidence that a great lad lovely lad yeah. um, well able to hit a ball and um, he'd managed that 8.4 probably a 10 handicap on the day uh, right. no bother at all so very interesting I've, I've put up again another guest mm -hmm. um, in Graham Dunning I play six a side football twice a week with Graham uh, this guy is a fantastic golfer. Funny enough, that's what I've heard. But I would love to get out playing with him. He obviously can play off scratch. Um, Brilliant. And he played in Carton with us last year. And I think he won the longest drive on the back nine. Mm -hmm. But Graham is a superb golfer, apparently. So, um, But I think it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. He's going to be given... He'll probably be... Nine out of ten one. shots. Nine out of ten yeah. shots. So, Graham, you've got a, you've got a big ass that's there, buddy. That's good for us, yeah. Um, by the way, can I just plug this for him as well? He had his second hole in one in Newlands the weekend. Graham wow. did. So, Graham, congratulations, congratulations. on that, pal. Um, but so bring some of that for him into Friday, will you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, none of you. But uh, that's going to be a very interesting game. It'll be interesting to see how Graham matches up against Alan. Well, Schultz. Alan wouldn't be used to giving or getting shots off yeah. lads, you know. Yeah, so, it's going to be him. He can tactically go around the course, in my opinion. Have a look at what's going on. I know yeah. he's not probably going to be as long as Graham, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. But the fact that he has a shot and half the holes on the car, so be very confident he's clever enough to use them. So that that's going to be a good game. You, are you? Are you? Putting your, you're putting your marker down. Who, who's uh, well, you can, it's very hard to put your marker down against just basically a, a scratch golfer here. But yeah, um, no, Graham that, Graham Jones will be could go low. He could go two or three under. I'll be right. thinking this is a free game, and I'll be, think, I'll be saying wow. to Alan, there's no pressure on him going out there. He's not expected mm -hmm. to win that match. The perfect management here. Uh, well, <laughs> well, 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 enjoy your golf. You know? <laughs> putting the arm over him. Yeah. All right, we'll move on. So, um, game number eight. And again, uh, this guy here, Brian Stevenson, again, a lovely guy. Uh, you, you, there's plenty of lovely guys in both the clubs, I'm sure. But mm. this year, I, I made me business just to go around and, and, and just maybe get to know new guys. But I actually got Brian in the mm. second round of the singles match play. And he surprised me because I had four shots on him and he just took me to the cleaners. This guy is excellent. As far as I know, he's he's into the, I think he's into two more stages now. But a, a really good guy, uh, 9.6, um, I'd argue, and I know the likes of Jason and people who know this this lad, uh, he's he's an excellent golfer. And again, just a lovely guy to play with, very calm on the course. Tell us a bit about matching up with Mark Leeson, John. So Mark has, is now halfway through eating the, the dictionary in golf. So I met him two <laughs> years ago as, a, I think, a 23 <laughs> handicapper in wow. um, Palmerstown. And in two years, he's dropped down to... Probably 10 or 11. That's impressive. So yeah, he's, we knew him. Myself and Shay played with him at, on the oh. day when he was playing out 23, and we were saying, This guy yeah. hits some ball. Yeah, so so there's, tell, there's yeah. potential here. So now he's eat, sleep, drink, golf. Really? That's where he's gone. Now, I'll put him at Alan for a reason because Mark's yeah. wife is due a baby shortly, which will be his first child as well. So it's daddy daycare here. <laughs> this is incredible management. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So wow. uh, his, he. She hasn't yet had the baby, so his full yeah. focus is on golf. Right. So uh, he's played uh, inter club this year, so he'd be used to the big game. So okay. I, I would have confidence in Mark bringing it home here. That's a tough one. Brian Stevens is in serious form. Like okay. he's 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 beaten a lot of good golfers in Castle Knock in the singles. But anyway, we'll wait and see what happens. Yeah. 
Game number nine, guys. This tees off at ten past three, and it's Peter Flood. Floody. I mean, I'll let Jonathan speak about Floody. Then I'd like to well, caveat that. Yeah. Thing. Well, um, I mean, I, 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 my father knew knew Peter and all his mates. So I only met him face to face the first time at the. Uh, we went to watch the Jimmy Brown supporting the club yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. That's my first kind of physical interaction with how are you, Peter. How is it going? Um, I have to say, as soon as I came up with the Ryder Cup, he was the first guy to ring me and say, "Whatever yeah, help you need." He's a brilliant lad, yeah, out, these no things, problem. Yeah. Uh, he's playing at four point seven. Yeah. WHS. So this this lad can play. Yeah. And Peter, look at you. Just have to have Peter at these events. He's just one of the funniest guys you'll ever meet. He can be serious when he needs to be serious. Um, a very, very good golfer. He was a brilliant footballer in his day as well. And he's one of the good guys. Uh, I've matched him up with Tom Marr. Tom's son actually plays uh, rugby for Ireland uh, under 21s. Oh, very good. Um, and again, got had the privilege of playing with Tom uh, over the last kind of 18 months. And again, this guy is playing so well in Castlenock at the moment. He's always up on the leaderboard. You look at some of his cards. I mean, he's boarding. He's... You know, he's eagling, he's he's just putting together some great scores um, consistently at the moment, Jonathan. But a lovely guy, loves his sport. I'm delighted he's playing. He's good for, he plays with Jason Sherlock quite a bit. Uh, but Tom, I, I'm delighted to have you in. That's going to be a tough game against him. man in form, obviously, from what you're well, saying. Well, I think both of them are. Floody, Floody is an absolute shark. Like, <laughs> Floody's great in these situations, but I'm confident now, Tom. That you'll 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 uh, come I didn't to the sound table. very confident. No, I am very confident because <laughs> it was farm, Jonathan. Seriously, okay. It's Tom Mars farm is excellent. I wonder will uh, Peter have the have the minerals for him? You know, we'll have to see. I updated the WHS today, but we're not far away from a scratch game there as well. Maybe one hole yeah. in it. Maybe we yeah. check that on the day. That's, yeah, that's 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 two great golfers there. Yeah, yeah, it is. Can't mm. wait. Uh, game number ten, guys. Uh, we're nearly there. Uh, Tell us a bit about Shay Healy and tell, would you mind telling the guys what he did to Mark Keely. Kenny and... Keeley. Yes. Jeez, if you get that wrong, we'll have to hear about I'm just, it. Is that a typo? Yes. So tell the guys uh, what he did in Carton last year on the 18th against Mark Kenny and um, Derek, Derek Tracy. Tracy. Well, this the, is really that was good. the 17th hole and <laughs> I think we had come back from three down at one stage around the 17th hole so Shay put it down the middle. Um, Myself and Derek weren't really in the hole here with bounds, yeah. and Mark stuck it against the wall about 250 yards over there somewhere. So we didn't know how to play the shot and eventually played it left handed to bunt it out about 70 yards, took out a tree wood and put it to about 10 foot from the pin. Um, yeah. Shay had knocked the second down the middle somewhere to about 150 into the hole. So we said to him, just get it on the fucking green, will you? And we'll try and get a half out of the hole. You hit a good shot, couple of hops, and in the hole, he's the original eagle man. <laughs> <laughs> now that's impressive. Wouldn't I just hope he doesn't break that on Friday. High fives all wow. around. Yeah, great day. <laughs> so he'd be off probably he'd be probably off about eighteen. About eighteen. That's the maximum. Yeah. But um, the difference this fella is from being a good footballer in his day, and I play with him, he's my friend every week, mm -hmm. uh, himself and the brother who we'll talk about in a minute, is that he's a better player when it comes to the competition. Right, so it brings the best out. So whatever his individual yeah. is when he's playing a match play event, yeah, it's a, it's a now brainer point in the back. Yeah, yeah. Shay is a lovely guy as well. He, he came to the Carton gig last year, <laughs> and he he was doing stuff like that. But I've matched him up against John Carey. Mm -hmm. He's one of he's Brendan Keeley's um, good buddy. Um, John, I'm delighted you're playing, pal. Um, your handicap should be lower because we know how potentially how good you are. Um, and I, again, Jonathan, I just think this is evenly matched because um, if John brings his A game, mm. this could be this could be very very interesting. Okay. Um, so I'm looking forward to this matchup. John is a great character. You know, he loves his GAA. Um, he's been a member in Ca Castlenock now a good few years, and I tell you, he's a brilliant guy to play golf with. Good, he really is. So, so Shay and John is another great battle. I I can't call this one. That's that's tied now. Well, I already told you. No, I, I, the brain terrorist that is Shay Keeley. That's that could be. I, I'm not. That could be a very tight one. But anyway, we'll see what happens. John, I'm not going to put too much pressure on you, buddy. Um, game number eleven. Now this is interesting. So you <laughs> might have saw the photo we put up today. Mark Moreni captained the successful uh, winning team last year, and he gave the trophy back, and he looked after a fair play to him. So. He's guesting for you, but he used to be in Palmerstown, and then right. he's, he's come back to guess for you. That right? Yeah. So he's off eight, and he's a very, very good golfer. But uh, tell us a bit about Mark. Obviously, he's a good friend of mine as well. Well, he's your, yeah. Well, it's kind of yeah. one of the lads that's guessing for yeah. my team. So yeah. I, I know from Mark last year that he's a handy player. Um, yeah. I don't very know, good. but um, we've been speaking over the last couple of weeks. So well, I give you a bit of backstory. You give me the background there. Yeah. He he signed for Mick McCarthy at Millwall at the age of seventeen. Um, 
and he came back then. He, he won the league with Brian Caird in 96? 96? 95. Um, he was an extremely good professional footballer and obviously he's a bit like Jason. They just take the any sport and they're usually fantastic. Mark's one of those lads. One of the nicest guys you will you will ever meet. I'm, I'm, I'm really privileged yeah. to call him a friend and he always supports these things. With Jan, Jansen, he's going to be supporting the prize which we'll go through. But this is a great battle. I've matched him up with Brendan Maguire. Um, again, got to know Brendan the last couple of years in Castle Knock. Uh, a very, very good golfer, very steady. Uh, Brendan will really put it up to Mark. And I'd match this up because I wanted... Brendan will be a bit steely in this game. Brendan will, will <laughs> knock it. Brendan will dig deep. Uh, he's playing quite well at the moment. Okay. Um, from what I've seen. And uh, yeah, Brendan, no pressure. But I, I'm, I'm pretty confident in this game. Muller will be coming into this a little bit jovial. He'll be trying to kind of have a bit of banter with you. I want you to ignore it. <laughs> Just blankety blank him. And we'll, we'll bring home the bacon. <laughs> so, uh, but this guy, but, but, I like the sound of that, Mark. That's but it is, it, it's, it's quite even, as right. I said to you. Um, so, take us through um, game number 12, Jonathan. The, the main man, the ex-Man United. You Desi, Desi Baker. Baker. The most famous thing I saw from Desi Baker as I was talking to the night was the moment where he kissed Kareem Benzema <laughs> at the Palace Stadium. <laughs> Oh, that yeah. went down in legend with me and my mates. That's right. So as soon as I seen he was playing, I texted him and said, lads, I have Desi Baker here. Ask me about that kiss. Oh, no, there you go. So we spoke about it the other night and he said to me, yeah. he got his jersey. Benzema's Did he? Jersey, he got yeah. Benzema's jersey. Yeah, there, there you, you go. go, guys. But Desi, again, <laughs> Desi had a phenomenal career. He's Richie's brother, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Desi is one of the most famous League of Ireland players that play, played the game. Everyone knows that. And just a lovely guy. Really happy to have Desi involved. What did he want, Desi? I think he won the longest drive in Car yeah. well, the well, second longest drive with Graham. And Ricky was telling me he hits yeah. the ball a mile. So he does. He's a long hitter yeah. of the ball, but no, now it's not necessarily important up yeah. here, though, is it? Hitting the ball long, like you know, uh, accuracy maybe up here. on sixteen, it's important. Seventeen, yeah. it's important, and three. Mm. So there are some holes that you really have to open the shoulders. I'd even argue eight guys. Mm. The eight in Castle Knock, you can open the shoulders. You know, you can go over the left side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, plenty of room on the right. So, uh, but we, we, when we go through the prizes, guys, we'll we'll share with you um, where you can open, really open those shoulders. But it'll depend on how how, how your game's going. So strong. I've matched this one up mm -hmm. with the legend that is Sean Egan, one of my <laughs> closest friends, ex Cherry Orchard uh, champ. There, um, he's also like me. He's fifty this year. Um, so Shani Shani is a member of Millicent. And he's guesting again nice for us. Mm -hmm. And he'll be in and around the 18. He'll need uh, the 18 uh, full handicap. But I wanted to put him against Desi because, again, Shani is very resilient on the golf course. Um, he picks himself up when stuff, stuff goes wrong. But when this lad plays golf, Shani can stitch them into, into pins. He's a great putter. And when he catches his drives, so I'm expecting some great things from Sean. And Sean, I'm fully confident you can deliver. These lads know each other? Of course they do. Yeah, Shani and Desi know each other well. So there's a bit of banter here there's too. There's going to be a bit of banter across this group. Okay, um, okay. Football orientated, but certainly when the golf kicks in, I think it'll be uh, very competitive. Happy days. What, what are you thinking? Do you think Desi can deliver? Well, I, again, like these, these bit, we're talking to with, with him and Richie, two top sportsmen here. Like you know, so yeah. they know at the highest level what it takes to get the game done. So I, I, I mean, agree with you. How can there be any denying the fact that he's going to get it done? Yeah. No okay. Problem. All no right. problem. We leave that with that. Um, with those notions. Uh, game number 13, guys. We're almost there, right? Tell us a little bit about Noel Keeley, Jonathan. The older brother. Yeah. Wallace and Gromit, the two of them. We play with them every week. <laughs> right. So Noel is, very, <laughs> Noel is very steady. Right? Okay, 11.9. A drawer of the ball. Um, yeah. uh, played up last week in the... What we playing? The Intermediate Scratch Cup. Mm. And he lost it by a shot. So I think 82 in Palmerstown. Won the intermediate scratch cup over two days. Now had eighty three, with seven on the eighteenth hole. Wow. So had you got that in, he's walking away with one of the most prestigious trophies of the year. You know, um. So I know, now a good friend of mine, um, very steady game. So, so he's it, very. You're bringing a, another yeah, resilient we're, golfer. We're talking driving the ball yeah. down the middle, on the green, good yeah. putter, good head, um, and good. And he likes the battles. He loves likes it. the one v ones. Loves okay. it. He likes the slide tackle too. <laughs> no. right, that, that's, that's the By the way, you, you, if you do slide tackle on that course, will you fix the, the yeah, the the marks, afterwards. <laughs> put the sand in? You? Yeah, we, we we take care of our course, you know. Yeah, no so I've, I've matched them up uh, again. Absolutely lovely guy, uh, Mick Cunningham. Uh, Mick Cunningham comes in around twelve index. 
um, plays most weeks. Um, he's in the funeral business, Cunningham Funerals. Ah. Uh, Mick is a top lad. He puts a lot of, of investment into local football teams, and he also follows the the the, F, the Republic of Ireland uh, everywhere they go in away games. Brilliant. So Mick is one of these, you know. Big followers of sport, a supporter, so not yeah, a fan. He's, he's a yeah. supporter, as, as we, not yeah. a fan. No, we won't get into the, <laughs> we won't get into the English Premier League. Not, not for tonight. Right. But Mick, I love having Mick at the event because you'll see him light up a room when we're ah, having brilliant. dinner afterwards. Yeah. He's a, he's great fun. You might even get a song out of you, Mick. Only if you win your game. But I'm very confident he can beat Noel. You have a tough game in your hands, pal. A scratch game. So Again, it's, it's kind yeah. of a scratch one. Yeah. They're um, well matched. They're well matched. So. Guys, final final game, and then we'll move on to Farmas prizes, mm -hmm. and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, tell us a bit about Jerry Gannon, our 14.5 14. So we know Jerry, last 10 years. Stephen is his name. Jerry to his mates. <laughs> I don't know why Jesus that is. Christ. Maybe he can explain that Stephen to me. Jerry? It's because he looks like a Jerry, something like that. But um, okay. I, I went more so for the partnership here, where um, Jerry to me is a guy who will be methodical about how he plays the game. So wow. he he takes his time. So he'd be very strategic here. He yeah, he's a good head on his shoulders and he's okay. an experienced golfer. At, um, but him and Noel as a partnership to me would be the right two guys to bring the game in in the anchor match. So I don't want be to rallying together. Then. Yeah, I'm not I'm not not praising Jerry. I'm more praising the partnership of how these guys will operate together and get each other through the game. So right. I would be very wow. confident. Um, yeah. I didn't want to, someone had to come in last, you know. So at the last match, so, um, we could have put them anywhere, but they were always going together. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So uh, Jerry has a steady game. Uh, hits a good tee off, good with his irons. He's a low flighted ball, which gives him more distance uh, and steady around the greens. That fourteen point five to me, I think he's a better player than that. Yeah, which moves me on to Rory McCarthy mm -hmm. again. A build up by trade, another super lad. Now here's something interesting. After reflecting what you just said about your two, your two uh, players here in, yeah. in Jerry and Noel, yeah. Mick and Rory are very good friends, and they play with each other every week. So I also <laughs> looked at it and said, I want the closeness of that friendship together to bring in the points for Castle Knock. And of course, this fella has already said that he's done the same thing. So this is very much led by friendship. Mm. We rally together. Mm -hmm. We pick ourselves up on the course. And they're very well evenly matched, Jonathan, aren't they? Very much so. Yeah, the that's, guys, that's yeah. a good match there as well. Depending on how the handicap works from today, but this is another, probably another scratch game or one hole in it. So this is very yeah. much for golfers the same ability yeah. here. So this will be on the day. Guys, that, that kind of sums up the squads. It gives you a bit of background to the guys, their handicaps, that sort of stuff. Um, again, we've shared the, the information out on the WhatsApps again. Yeah. I've been in touch with everybody. Everyone's given me the thumbs up. By the way, just before we move on to prizes, and Jonathan will take you to the format, we're here, you can't see it, but well, you can see it behind us there. The weather, obviously everyone can see it today, is absolutely fantastic. If you go onto your golf weather app, it's going to remain there until Sunday, so the weather's due to be absolutely beautiful. Uh, we have dinner booked, um, and we have uh, everything ready to go upstairs when everyone's finished. So what we do next, I have in front of us here, is just to give you a little impression on the prizes. So I'll quickly fly through this and Jonathan's gonna finish with the format and kind of wrap up the kind of little video vlog, okay? So we can share this together, Jonathan, if you want. Yeah. So I'll, I'll do the first one. So the first prize, guys, is the nearest to pin on the ninth. And look, again, Mick Cunningham, he always supports stuff. He's just a brilliant lad. He came to me and asked, like that's how good a guy he is. So there's a 100 euro gift card to spend wherever you want in Castle Knock. And that's for the nearest to pin on the ninth hole, okay? Um, John, did you want to do number two? So number two is um, a prize that I won't be involved in, which is the longest <laughs> drive on the eighth the hole. Harsh. Now, is the eighth hole a par four or a par five? That's a par five. Par five. So yeah, I think I remember. So you can go left. You can pull it left, but you have obviously you're not going to win it there. It has yeah, to be on has the, to be road, the green proper, on the fairway. The proper fairway. So yeah, so that's the longest drive hole, which is the eighth. So you've got to, you're going to have longest drive on the eighth and the first nearest pin the ninth. This is also a hundred euro gift yeah, card from me. From Mick, yeah. Mick. Fair play yeah. to Mick. And I'll make fair play to you, as I mm. said to you, he's, he's very kind. I, I'll do prize number three. Mm. Uh, on the 18th hole, guys, um, I'm not sure, um, Jonathan, remind me at the end, we're going to be off whites, guys. We're going to be whites, off the yeah. white tees. Yeah. We're not going all the way back. No, off blues. We're going to be off whites. So off whites, the 18th should be playing pretty um, uh, attractive to everybody. Everybody should be able to hit the green. 
Um, but it's great to so, have a prize in the last hole, the last hole being a par three. Absolutely. So even if you're having, miser having a miserable yeah, if day. if the game's over, you can still win a putter. I'm assuming when the game yeah. is over, we're going to finish off the 18 holes yeah. and you still go and you can win a putter on the last hole. Which and it's sponsored by uh, Mark Mulroney and mm -hmm. that's Jan Janssen. He again, like Mick, he supports these things every year. And look, that, that's prizes just for a bit of fun, but there'll be a nice juicy putter or at least a voucher for one for that. John, did you want to do six, the 16th, That's which good. is a par five? Another long drive. It's a par five, yeah. Par five, yeah. Um. Yeah, so same thing again. So it's the longest drive. Road narrows down. Now, I meant to ask you. I'm assuming then, can you, can you win multiple prizes here? No. So, guys, oh, yeah. what we're going to do, and this came up in Carton House, and a good point, yeah. Captain. Fair play to you. <laughs> do you like that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, you can only... if. If you're like Graham Dunning and you're probably in the mix for a couple of prizes, or Jason or the, the, the low lads, you can only claim one prize. I'll be sharing them around and That's fair enough. Uh, all, all the, um, the the five prizes will go individually. Is that okay? Hopefully that doesn't uh, so make anyone despondent about when you win a couple. I think that's fair. That's fair. So once again, Ken Smith, who always sponsors prizes for me. Now it's sponsored. not human. Right. What is it? So I wanted to plug it tonight. So he phoned me, Ken, and says, Naylor, let's, let's put up a rangefinder. But a decent value, so we can we can update you on that. So yeah, so it's a range finder on that one. Brilliant. So some lads will have an idea range finder. Yeah, some lads use the watch. I need a new one of them. <laughs> but you just said you want one to drive. Well, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Graham, if you win or Jason or Tom or any of the low lads. For, for all your hard work, Jonathan. There's yeah. a range finder, you know. Did that, Wait, you no, see Smithy. Anyway, depends if you win or lose. Oh, we go. Um, here's an interesting one, guys, and we 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 kind of pilot tested this in Carton. So for the it's controversial as well. So for the quickest match closeout, Bobby Smith, um, our buddy Bobby Airplane Smith, Bobby, yeah. uh, has put up a really lovely gents watch. So if you're absolutely battered in your game, keep it quiet. <laughs> but the 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 guy who basically inflicts that is going to win a nice gents watch. So that's I thought it was quite nice from Bobby. Yeah. Bobby, you're an absolute legend again. Come on, Bob. Uh, it's a nice prize to win. And then finally, I, I'll just wrap this up. Yeah, cool. As I said, Garrett, my partner, uh, well partner he's coming out with me in the four ball good mate of mine Garrett has two sweet shops called Munch Diddleys and they're doing so well at the moment one is in the Oilex Centre and the other one's in Stevens Green Shopping Centre and he's going to do a golfer's pack water drinks chocolate sweets for everybody just to keep everybody um, what's the word active and energised yeah. and stuff like that while they're going around it's going to be warm which is always great to get when you're yeah. going out in the day like this have a goodie bag and yeah there'll be there. a goodie yeah. bag there it's for great, everybody yeah. and then guys Finally, before we hit the button, do you want to do you want to pick it up, Skipper, or what do you want to well, do? I'd, ne I'd never touch the trophy. Oh, you don't want to touch before, the trophy before the victory. Now there you go, guys. That's an exclusive. He doesn't want to touch it before he wins it. <laughs> but gonna, I, I'm yeah. actually going to pick it up <laughs> because I really believe that my team can win it, as being the hosts and the home team. Mm. Guys, the last thing to caveat this, I just want to thank Jonathan for coming tonight because I just think it's nice to maybe just plug it on a video and just give you a bit of vibe and atmosphere. But mm. it's all Jonathan's idea. This is what we're playing for, guys. I certainly want to win it as Castle not captain. I probably won't be captain in the away game, but that was the final thing I was going to say. Mm. So, Jonathan, hopefully, depending on how well this goes, will you accept um, the opportunity for a rematch, depending on Absolutely. what way? It doesn't matter. Absolutely. In Palmerstown this year at some stage. That they can be confirmed. This year or next year? Oh, no, next it'll be this year. Oh, this year. We um, play as this year away. So, we, yeah. what we want to do, guys, is create an annual lawyer's kind of home and away uh, match. We may expand it up to 18 to 20 players per team, but hopefully you'll accept it. Absolutely, yeah, back yeah. To you. Accept it. It's accepted. Guys, there you go. Little exclusive. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully it wasn't too long. What are we on the clock? 33 minutes, Gaffer. Not bad. See you Friday, guys. Cheers, all the Don't best. Don't be late. Half one. Half one. See you then. Bye-bye.